Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's where the video for the Sunday morning, October 20th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and what a difference a day is going to make. Yesterday, a rather miserable raw day across much of central Alabama with lots of light drizzle, uh, clouds, and cool temperatures. These were highs on Saturday, 61 at Birmingham, 62 down at Calera, 60 over in Aniston, only 58 up in Gadsden. Meanwhile, places to the southwest got a little more sunshine late in the day, places like Tuscaloosa where they reached 70 degrees, Demopolis reaching 72 but everyone today is going to experience temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s this is uh, the uh, map this morning uh, showing uh, the remnants of uh, Nestor moving on up through the Carolinas now be moving out through the Virginia Capes later today and on out to see that system will be absorbed into our next weather maker that will appear over Alabama on Monday uh, by Tuesday late Tuesday that system will uh, absorb the energy from Nestor over New England and um, be another fairly strong low moving out to that area, but it'll be goodbye to Nestor, a storm that was more potential and more post than it was tropical storm. These are expected highs today across Alabama, 80 here in Birmingham, 82 in Tuscaloosa, across the uh, southwestern portion area of the day will be in the lower 80s. Uh, to the north will be in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Uh, dew points will be on the rise late in the day. Overnight lows tonight only in the middle 60s. Uh, expect some uh, more clouds tonight. We've got some dense fog and low clouds out there this morning. Some more will form tomorrow uh, as moisture levels quickly rise across Alabama. The main reason, low pressure over the Midwest. It'll consolidate its power over Iowa by Monday uh, morning. And uh, with a strong trailing cold front to the southwest, we'll see shower showers and thunderstorms developing during the day over western Tennessee and northwestern Mississippi. Meanwhile, over Alabama, dew points will be on the rise. We'll have dew points in the middle and upper 60s by Monday uh, across the state by Monday noon. It's going to feel quite humid, have a stormy feel to it. But uh, interestingly, Cape values don't really get out of control. The temperature profiles in the atmosphere are not conducive for really high levels of Cape. But we will have a very strong low-level jet moving over Alabama from uh, Mississippi and uh, western Tennessee. That will set the stage for one of these typical low, uh, low instability, high shear events that we're famous for in Alabama and the southeast here in the fall. Now, by afternoon, uh, we'll see showers and thunderstorms moving out of Mississippi into Alabama. I think the main threat on Monday, we're now uh, expecting a, a marginal risk of severe weather across almost all of uh, north and central Alabama. As those thunderstorms move into the northwestern part of the state during the afternoon around 3 o'clock, they'll uh, slowly progress to the southeast during the evening. should weaken as they go. But the threat of damaging winds, a brief tornado too, is very possible. This is 10 o'clock Monday. Uh, showing uh, the conditions during the evening hours. Some uh, rainfall there generally along and northwest of I-59 spreading on southeastward through the overnight hours so that by Tuesday morning uh, most of the activity is out of here uh, well to the east and weakening and um, sets the, the uh, stage for a clearing day on Tuesday. Now rainfall through the event should be one inch to one and a half inches across north and central Alabama. That's going to be beneficial. It will not be a drought buster. The uh, drought actually worsening over Alabama over the past week. Uh, areas of eastern Alabama from Montgomery up through Anniston that picked up one to one and a half inches of rain on Saturday uh, helped out a bit and this next system will help out a bit too. Uh, but uh, the drought's not going away anytime soon. By Wednesday, high pressure is firmly in control of Alabama's weather. This is highs in the lower 70s. Beautiful sunshine. More of the same for Thursday. High pressure remains in control. Begins to shift off to the east. We'll see our winds turn back to the south. By late Thursday, the moisture levels will be increasing across Alabama. Ahead of another front, uh, we'll see more showers and thunderstorms developing across the state. Late Thursday night into early Friday. Looks like that system will get out of here for the weekend, though. This is Saturday showing Alabama back in building high pressure and uh, most of the rainfall east of our area. And Sunday more of the same. It'll be uh, uh, probably highs of the lower 70s again. Lots of sunshine and beautiful conditions into the early part of the following week. Now, Voodoo Territory, let's go out to November 1st, our next weather system. Looks like a low pressure system tracking fairly far to the south. 
depicted on the GFS here uh, around noon on Friday, November 1st over northwestern Alabama. Rain and thunderstorms will be likely over the state, and that will set the stage for a cool down. Uh, we'll be near 80 uh, around here today, again near 80 tomorrow. Uh, lower to middle 70s through much of the week ahead until uh, we get that system through here. Looks like uh, upper 60s to lower 70s. You can see the gradual progression of the temperatures downward across Alabama as the fall season marches on. A little, uh, little um, a brief reprieve there from the cooler temperatures. will be back in the lower middle 70s uh, around Wednesday the 30th. Looking good for Halloween. And then quite a cool down behind that next system. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, October 20th. Uh, James will be back two days all the week ahead. John and Scott will be back on Saturday with another look at this weather. I'll be back next Sunday in the seat. And as I always tell you, till we meet again, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.